The design process is not static. The building design is often modified and enhanced as the model is built and drawings are prepared. Since the elements in the model include not only their physical geometry, but also additional data and information in the form of data group properties, it is always preferable to modify an existing element rather than rebuild the element. The geometry of structural elements can be modified by selecting the elements and using the handles or using one of the modification tools like Modify Member End, Modify Curved Beam, or Extend Form. In addition, the data on structural elements, or any building element for that matter, can be modified using the Modify Properties tool. First, let's reference in the architectural model to see if the framing is coordinated with the design model. Open the Links tab on the Explorer. Navigate to the Project Tree, Building Models, Design Models. Select the architectural model and drag and drop it into View 1. Use the attachment method recommended. Note that the building mass was extended beyond the column line. We will need to cantilever the beams and add more framing. We can also assume the sloped roof will overhang the building mass, and we need to extend the framing out to support the roof overhang. First, you will modify the ends of the timber beams so that they extend beyond the columns to support the building extension and roof overhang. Select the beam. The handles are visible. Drag the end handle out to the edge of the building mass, then use the AccuDraw shortcut O to reset the compass. Then extend the beam another 2 feet, or 600 millimeters, for the roof overhang. Select the next beam and extend by the same length, simply snapping to the endpoint of the first beam. Repeat for the other end of the building. Now, if you have a number of elements to modify by the same distance, you might prefer to use the Modify Member End or Extend Form tool. Select the Extend Form tool. Set the method to Add Distance and set the distance to 3 feet or 900 millimeters. Data point to one end of the joist that needs to be extended. Continue to modify the joist ends until all the joists have been extended on both sides of the building. And finally, copy the last member on each side to extend the framing over the building extension. These same modifications could also be made to columns. Let's modify the columns and piers at the platform canopy so that the pier becomes a visual base for the column. Using the same Extend Form tool, change the distance to minus 1 foot 6 or minus 500 millimeters and change the base of the C1 steel column at the platform canopy. This will trim the column back rather than extending it. Then change the distance to positive 1 foot 6 or 500 millimeters and extend the concrete piers up to create a visual base for the columns. Finally, let's select the timber beams and modify some of the data on the member. In the Explorer dialog, select the Items tab. Note that items are now showing grouped by their data group properties. Expand the beam timber joist. Note that the number of each catalog item is shown in parentheses. If you expand the B2 glue lamp, you will see each individual member in the model. If you select a member in the Explorer dialog, it will be selected and highlighted in the model. If you collapse the list again and just select the B2 glue lamb heading, all of the B members will be selected in the model. Or select just the B3 B members. 
collapse the list further to select all the beam timber joist items in the model. With all the timber beams and joists selected, select the Modify Properties tool from the Common Tools. Change the structural material to Douglas fir. This will modify this property for all the items selected. You have now modeled the basic structural elements for the station building and platform canopy so that they are coordinated with the architectural model. Open the reference dialog and display off the architectural model. Also, toggle on the setting that says Ignore While Live Nesting. This will prevent this reference attachment nesting with the structural model when you reference it to the architectural model. However, you can leave it attached for additional coordination, simply displaying it on and off as needed. In the next session, we will review the foundation and framing plan drawings. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like. If you want to see more such series, consider subscribing to our channel. Thank you, and see you next time.